How y'all doing? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Uh, How was today? What was it like? Uh, it's a dream come true. Uh, being able to represent Texas A&M. Um, everything I've been through in my career to get to this point um, and get an opportunity in the league is a blessing to add itself. Uh, I thought, uh, first thing first, I wanted to show how much of a teammate I was to my guys, um, how much a leader I am to my guys, and uh, how much this uh, school means to me. And uh, being on this uh, turf again, we practice here all the time. Uh, being able to come out here and finish it off here was a blessing and a dream come true. This is my combine sweatshirt, by the way. Uh, my biggest thing was they know I've been playing for a long time, have a lot of experience. I think the biggest thing they wanted me to do was to be able to make tackles in space. Uh, I showed uh, a lot of coverage ability this year. Um, they probably want to see a little bit more man-to-man -man work and stuff like that. But uh, I think you can obviously see I could do a lot of different things. Um, how fast I moved in three cone today. I think my uh, PR was like a six five three in the three cone. So that's like blitzing the quarterback, making plays on the, on the ball like that. I'm hoping they give me a chance to blitz more in the league. You know what I mean? But uh, just just making plays around the ball. I think uh, me being in the box, me being high, I could do it all. And I think I showed that really well on this uh, journey. So you felt really good about the numbers. And yeah, I think I, I was happy about everything. But let's be let's be quite frank. I ran the four seven today. That's what they got total. And uh, I'm not happy about that at all. I think uh, I worked really hard. And uh, it's only come down to me putting my foot in the ground and, and doing it properly and getting it done. That's it, man. You develop speed. You know what I mean? You don't just get born with it. Out of, out of, not everybody get born with it. You got to develop speed. So it's, a, it's metrics, apply it's metrics to it. And I got to make sure I do that a little better. But as far as my game, you go to the, any tape you want to go to. You go to the NFL combine tape when I had all the best safeties in the country. And you tell me who had the better DB drills, who had the better uh, personality and, and effect on people. Go to the senior bowl when I won safety of the week. I, I am not disappointed about nothing I did today at all. God put me in this position, and uh, I think I licked it, to be honest with you. Uh, to be honest, it's just knowing my job. That's where I'm more comfortable. When you can play fast, that's, that's, that's all I care about. So knowing my job and, and, and playing at a high level, playing fast, I can play low, I can play high. I love getting to the ball, though, for sure. Do you remember what your time was at the I didn't run 40 in Indy. Uh, I had a, um, a strain on the uh, back of my knee. Uh, I said I'm going to uh, contribute my time and everything else to uh, run the 40 here at the Pro Day. Out, so yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, for sure. But it's also showing how competitive I am. If you look at my career, I have never missed a game, not one. And I was hurt. I was beat up. I get criticism for coming out there and playing hurt for my guys. I don't care. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, uh, I'm happy. Uh, yeah, they, 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 they know I can play both sides. Uh, I can play low. I can play high. Um, I, I came to senior bowl 211. I can't combine 204, 205. You know what I mean? So uh, at any, any, any way that I could play and move, I just wanted to show that. Oh man, it's a blessing. I love my guys uh, to death. Um, I know how important it is to have a brotherhood, and um, when all this stuff is said and done, you gonna you gonna call that guy when you're 30 and 35 to go get a beer or go do something. You know what I mean, or something like that. I don't drink often, but I, you know, I just want to use that as a turn because we Aggieland, right? So, you know what I mean. But no, I love my guys. I love them to death, and um, we support each other through all this, man. And uh, we're gonna be brothers for life. So what's next for you? What, what, how is it, how is it yeah. Well, I mean, it's kind of quite frank right now. It's easy. Just uh, you get that call, you go play for that team, and you go play your heart out like you did at Texas a and but even better and more. Yeah, when I mean, you were in Mobile, you got to learn how to be Aaron Glenn over Texas A&M. So yeah. What were some things that he kind of told you that you need to be looking for next level? What were some things that you wanted? Uh, just just come bring in my arms. I, like I said, that's that's the main thing they were talking about, making tackles in space. Um, that that's it. That's really it. I think they they know I, I'm capable of doing a lot of different things. I work really hard, and they believe they can develop me to something really special. So no interviews planned. You said you just got to wait on a call. You got to... Oh yeah, I, I got a few uh, interviews planned and stuff like that, but I keep it confidential because I don't know if they want me to say all that stuff. You know. Okay. How much do you feel like your ability to interview, to have conversations, is as much of a key asset in this process as the way you run? Uh, well, I'm. A, you got to be a professional. That's one thing I had to learn, you know, my first uh, two years in college, I had to be a professional and uh, learn how to do things the right way, speak the right way, and be authentic when you do it, but just know how to get it out. And uh, that's something I learned uh, over time. And uh, Elko, Jimbo, my teammates and stuff, also have a conversation with them all the time. You got to talk to them a certain way all the time because you got to be that guy for them. You got to be that brother for them. You got to be positive for them. So a certain ways to talk. And uh, I just keep, I just be myself in front of this camera, man. I don't, I don't got no other way to answer that one. Yeah, back in uh nah not really not really uh, most of the time it was a focus on on me and my game and my guys on this team uh they asked me who was the toughest receiver i played um 
in my not college career, but in his draft class. I think I put uh, the kid out of Alabama. Uh, he came from Ohio State, J-Mo. Yeah, so besides that, uh, quarterback talking stuff, they didn't really ask me about. So you had to learn how to be outspoken or control being outspoken? Uh, how did that work? No, I just got a lot of energy. I got a lot of energy. So when you got a lot of energy like this, you got to control your tongue, man. You know what I mean? Because you sometimes I'm uh, talk first and think later type of guy when I first got to the league. It's all that confidence, you know, all that passion, all that juice flowing through me. Sometimes I just get to talking real fast, almost like Jimbo a little bit. And I, I'm trying to, trying to work on that. So. Mm -hmm. Man, God bless y'all. Thank you so much. Thank you.